People are still interested. <laughs> more, more than still interested. Yeah. More than still interested. Yeah. And I thought, oh, no, 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 nobody has remembered me now. Donkey's years ago, you know. It's some time since I did a film. <laughs> I used to go home and when I'd been practicing makeup, I'd make myself up as these horrible characters, you see. I'd make myself up and I'd get on my bike, and when the neighbours were walking down the street, I'd go, yeah! And I sent off, uh, there were quite a few photographs of my makeups, and sent them off to each studio, all the seven studios. So, and I didn't hear anything, nothing, and nobody, I didn't get an answer from any of them. I thought, uh, what the hell, how? You know, they, they, at least one of them must have answered me, sure. But so I thought, to hell with it. I, I will go to the studio. And they called and well, must know me. Now, since I've sent all these photographs. And uh, so I cycled to the first studio. And then I got to there. There's the, the, all the fence and the gates. And, the, and a commissioner is just inside the gateway. So I, I'm cycling through and he's... He said, where are you going? I said, oh, and I stopped and I said, oh, I'm just going to see the chief makeup people. He said, have you got uh, something in writing, invitation to you? So I said, well, well, no, I haven't. I'm just visiting. He said, well, sling her up. Stuart Freeborn could be a very good Chief Makeup Man. Oh, he was great. Yeah, goodness, I loved him very much. He was a lovely man to work with. He was so with me, you know. He uh, you know, I could do almost anything I wanted with him, and he just didn't mind. Charlie Chaplin, you see, it was strange because Charlie Chaplin was born in London, he was an Englishman, and then he get, got a few films in, in, in the studios around for a while. But he hit the booze, you see, and became a drunkard, and uh, the Americans threw him out. So I said, oh, it would be interesting to learn <laughs> and see him, meet him again, and make him. And I started making him up, it was fairly straight makeup. And, they looked fine, he was a lovely fellow, you know, he was quite friendly and nice. And then they said, oh, we want to do certain makeups, so you know, he's got scars on his face and wounds and quite a lot. So that meant uh, some certain plastics that I needed uh, a soluble in alcohol. I had a little pot of alcohol that I put the brush in, you see, and to clean it, to use it again. Now, it was constant there. So I put it on the makeup bench there, and he was sitting in my chair, and I was working on it. And he went like, he says, uh, "Is that alcohol?" And I said, uh, "Yeah, that's all. That's all it is." I go, "Don't you dare touch me with that!" Because he'd been slung out of America. <laughs> He's got the smell of it. He might be tempted to start drinking again. <laughs> Oh. Peter Sellers, oh yeah. yes, oh had, my god. Had, I, to, I have to go on with him. It could be quite difficult actually. He will, could be difficult as well. And somehow or another he talked to me and uh, he, he, he was very nice to me. Oh, I did a hell of a lot of, yeah. yes, makeup on it. He didn't, didn't mind, he was with it all the way. That's got to be, you know, and he accepted it. Danny Kubrick, yes, he was great. Well, there's quite a lot of work in 2001, yeah. it was, yes. The 
Fernie Monkey. Mechanics. Yeah. Well, mechanics for the mouse movements and all that was, yes, it was a bit complicated and I know I did have a few problems with it, with getting it right, but I did make it work. When the mouth opened and then the lips have got to stretch, there's a, and it's the consistency exactly has got to be just right of the uh, foam itself. It's soft enough to move but firm enough to maintain the shape in parts. They chose me to do it that I was doing all kinds of things which were a little bit beyond ordinary makeup. So, modeling creatures of all kinds, and uh, I had to do it regardless. <laughs> I didn't know I was any, any special thing about making models, so I just, just had to do it. Yoga, 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 all the time. I've never modelled anything so quick, and I thought it's going to be a load of rubbish. You know? <laughs> Normally, I will take a cast of the artist's face and model it on the artist's face so it fits exactly. But I didn't have time to do that. You just wanted it in a few hours, so uh, it was half me and half Einstein modelling with all these little wrinkles. Then he's got to be a creature, so I put creature ears on the top of it. And uh, I thought, well, that's it. It's, I haven't got time to change it. So I covered it over and then went down. And he said, well, you know, have you done it? I said, yes. He said, I want to see it. I thought, he, he, he can't like what I've just thrown together. So I pulled a bit of damp cloth off. And I thought, oh, my God, what's he going to do? And he said, that's it. That's just what I want. <laughs> Anyway, I was able to work in so many different countries and the makeup people it, and I've managed to learn a little bit of something individually from different countries. Nine films in, whole films in New York, four in Hollywood, and a whole lot of others in, for so many weeks. Oh, I never stopped working. It was, uh, no. so many, I was working on a film and halfway through I'd be Oh, from all over the world, they've been contacting me and saying, look, we, we would like, when are you free? <laughs> it's hard work at the time, but uh, it worked out, just about. <laughs>